Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to session 100 How to Trade Any Futures Forex or Stock Market, the $1,000 a day challenge. As you, if you're a regular viewer of my videos, you know I target $1,000 a day. And in today's session, we hit the 1000 but today's session is a wee bit different. And I have to admit, I was wrong. And that is, I've said in previous videos and in my live trading room to my members and my coaches sessions that anything below the four tick on the NQ is just not tradable so for the last year or so I've been meaning to attempt to trade uh, say a two or a three tick uh, on the NQ and I should point out this is specific to the NQ um, uh, and I had some issues with my computer with the the high-speed data was causing an issue just on the NQ that's now been solved so I traded last week the NQ three tick. What an experience! <laughs> so I'm going to be going through this and uh, through each trade with you, and just go through some tips, some ideas, and what to do, and perhaps what not to do. And I do want to keep this to 30 minutes, uh, but but I promise you, I'm going to give you a ton of information on trading fast markets today. Now. The benefit of trading a lower time frame on the NQ is during the Globex session, that is the after hours market, which opens up at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the lower the time frame, the more action you get, the more potential trades, but also the smaller your stop loss. Therefore, the smaller the, the lower the account size, or the smaller the account size you really need. So I'm going to be discussing that with you. Now, of course, if a thousand dollars a day is not enough, simply increase your position size. Now, with that being said, if you're going to say trade the NQ 100 contracts 7 p.m. Eastern, you're going to get a ton of slippage trading five to ten lots no problems but once you start to get sort of um, you know above that 20 or 30 expect a ton of slippage if you want to trade 100 lots you're gonna to have to wait until the globe accession but for 99.9% .9 of the traders out there that want to trade between 1 and 20 lots no problems whatsoever so today we're going to be covering the 3 1 tick Renko chart so a three tick Renko chart is from the height of the low is three ticks or $15 in this case offset by one now what I'm about to show you here you can apply to the NQ to the Russell to the YM to the currency futures market the 6a all of these are five dollars a tick so if you trade one of these other markets you can apply the exact same philosophy and money management rules that I'm about to show you so I had eight trades for six wins uh, two losses one of them was a silly loss but um, I'll discuss that because that's also how you learn very quickly I do need to pull up the disclaimer please feel free to pause the recording to read this disclaimer but bottom line is try to see if TC requires me to put this up and the NFA NFA um, <laughs> CFT sorry Commodities Futures Trading Commission who's the NFA I'm not sure but anyway um, uh, bottom line is don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose and your results may not replicate mine because I've been day trading now for 28 years but what that also means to you I bring a huge amount of experience to the table in teaching you what to do and what not to do very quick advertisement if you haven't already downloaded my ebook for truth about day trading please see the description link below make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be kept up to date so somewhere on the window there it should be on the screen <laughs> a subscribe now channel uh, even better still why don't you become a member what I cover in today's session for $197 you get my entire program uh, over 200 hours of online instruction there's 35 PowerPoints uh, all of my indicators are free um, if you've got a trading platform that I don't have the indicators for I give you the settings that you can set up but basically any standard platform has the indicators that I use 
uh, and as well as that traders I'll give you as a gift you can attend eight of my live coaching sessions so every Tuesday and Wednesday evening 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I run two-hour classes where you can log in where I teach you how to day trade everything from the psychology of trading through to money management right through to how to execute my strategies where to place your losses etc make no mistake traders this is a ten thousand dollar program and the last one you'll ever need now moving on now I'm going to skip a couple of the slides here because I was going to talk about clarity but uh, I want to really get to a, the heart of a lot of things here so first thing I do want to cover is income goals now some say in our industry that you shouldn't be setting goals but you know what show me a person with a compelling future and I'll show you a person that's really got a great potential to succeed in our business now we're going to look at then what are sensible goals okay and I'll give you a reasonable time frame that is how many hours a day you need to to really be on your screen now let me tell you you need to be committed if you're a really uh, an active day trader it really takes you a good 30 minutes to one hour to prep to get ready for the markets going through your, your charts going through your trading plan reviewing your trading rules etc but as you gain experience you should be hitting your targets within two hours so this is only a two to three hour business should you choose to really want to get in get out get paid I want to get that cash register ringing I want to get in get out get paid and finish my live trading for a day now some of the young guns here I'm in my 60s some of the young guns will want to keep trading all day that's mighty fine and yes you'll have a much greater return on your capital from what I'm about to show you now one of the important things first of all is our money management now I've got complete spreadsheets on all of this but very quickly if you're going to trade the and I don't even have the three tick on the here because as I mentioned I'd always said to members look I think it's too fast it is fast but there's a way of trading it which I'm going to show you but here on the four tick so generally you'd need around um, three and a half thousand however if you're going to trade the three one you can easily trade that with a three thousand dollar account two and a half to three thousand dollar account you can trade that ideally three now what if you don't have three thousand that's mighty fine you start on the micro where you can get going with three hundred dollars allow four hundred bit of a buffer if you're new and remember you stay on the simulator until you are consistently profitable now here's what this means my target during the Globex session that is the after hours market is between two and three hundred dollars per contract what that means to you on the micro you're going to be going for twenty dollars a micro contract is ten percent of the value of a big contract here I'm saying allow 400 why as a brand new trader uh, you're going to fluff up you're going to push the wrong buttons and make some mistakes and even then you don't even start trading a micro until you're consistently profitable because what actually happens straight is we create what we call muscle memory the habits that we develop when we're on the simulator you'll take directly over to your live trading what this means is you start with four hundred dollars within 11 weeks you've got the potential of having three thousand plus in your account then you can roll over and start trading a large contract you're using the market's money now what if you do have four four thousand ten thousand twenty thousand why not start on the micro cut your teeth do that for a couple of months then roll over because there's another concept that happens okay so concept syndrome whatever you want to call it um, and it's a psychological damage that is done to traders when they blow their account even if it's a micro two or three times that and what what actually happens you end up hesitating in taking trades and that causes a whole range of different issues so once we're there twenty dollars a day we can now roll over now how the if you're new to my channel how these tables work is you only start trading an additional contract here every time you double your money 
so therefore you'd start off with 400 you don't start trading two contracts until you've got 800 you start trading three contracts when you've got 1200 and so forth okay so it's a very sensible approach now when you then have your 3000 you may be happy to go for only 20 ticks a day or $100 a day what that means is potentially within 18 weeks you've got an income of five thousand dollars a week and your account size is now thirty four thousand and by the way this spreadsheet here you can actually download that so in the description link below you can actually um, go and uh, request this I think it's actually you can download it um, go and put your email address in and download it and you can play around with this and there's a little instruction video I've recorded on how to actually do this correctly as you just don't go and put silly figures in there there's a, a, a way um, a summit there's a anyway there's a trading plan to how you do this now we then want to jump this up and say okay let's go for 150 a day because another thing is how do you develop a belief that yes you can do that start small miss small aim small miss small start on $100 great I can do this you go to 120 to 150 if you're an experienced trader you're going to pick these these setups up in a blink and you then go for 150 within 14 weeks is your income potential income of 10,000 a week and you're got 55,000 in your account take it one step more and this is a target if you're going to put it a couple of hours a day in whether you be trading by the way the three tick as we're going to be doing here today or the four tick uh, 200 a day really is, is on the lower end putting the time in within 10 weeks if you average $200 a day with a 3,000 account within 10 weeks there's your income potential now once again you're targeting 200 a day and you only start adding the amount of contracts um, uh, once you uh, have doubled your money now if you follow this plan and this is about having clarity and a sensible trading plan and unfortunately so many traders think they can go and watch a YouTube video or read a YouTube um, sorry a <laughs> go and Google how to day trade and I think they're a day trader uh, and it's sad in a way because it takes time like any skill set but the great thing is this ain't rocket science you can pick this up in a matter of months but it's about approaching it like a business which is what most traders do not do so based upon netting just $20 a day in 11 11 weeks your accounts now 36 you roll over to the NQ where 3,000 is required within 10 weeks you've got the 10,000 a week potential income on only $200 a day time taken 21 weeks where will you be traders in 21 weeks now one thing I do want to mention just there in actual fact let me pull that up that's your repeat oh that's right I know I've got that there is the big question is sorry everyone is how many trades a day will you need to undertake to hit this target well generally I'd be looking um, for eight step trades and you'll see what they are in a moment okay so you need six net trades a day now if you're going for your larger moves you're only going to need between three and five trades a day to hit this target and I'm going to show you which ones are and sorry just making sure that was 40 ticks so with this and this is important too we never ever ever risk more than two percent never and that's why you need the 3,000 okay and what that means is you can have a stop of 12 ticks so this is the amount of uh, this is sorry this is the number of trades that we would expect we need to execute now down here I won't get into this but members watching this straight after this I'm going to re be recording a members only video for you just going through trade executions stops um, and just going into some of the finer rules of this for you as a reminder um, for those in a live trading room as you know we already cover this every day but um, just just so you're aware now one thing I do want to pull up which is important I've been talking about trading the three tick now the, here's my final conclusion with the three tick look I loved it but it was getting too fast now 
I generally trade traders uh, around 12 between 12 p.m. Central Standard Time and 2 a.m. Central Standard Time and why is that that's the open of the London session now you can be trading any time from 6 p.m. Eastern but that's around 4 between 4 and 5 p.m. my time and that really suits me because it's before I have my live trading room so that's when I'll generally get in but it was getting quite fast okay some of the trades were had to really fire up and move so this may be more suitable which will suit many of you you get home from work and you trade in the evening most of my members are in the USA now uh, with that here uh, let me just start this is what I wanted to bring up and this is where we it's really interesting after the session trade and I'm probably going, I'm going to do some more three ones today but if we increased out our um, account size by an extra thousand dollars made it four thousand we could be trading what we call a four two Renko okay and there I only need to execute it 200 a day uh, four trades a day instead of the six to eight trades a day right so um, and of course the larger the move the, the, the less number of trades and I can you can still hit your account your 10,000 a week there within about 12 weeks so unless you're really good at that, that is you want to really focus on learning how to use your ATM that is all your dome to place your trades this is not going to suit you okay so if you're not willing to and and by the way it's quite simple once you see the technique to do it but you need to spend the time now rather than go through these here I'm going to go to the charts and just point out exactly from the right hand side I'll talk about the trades I've taken and how I took them and why I took them so the end result was this was 70 minutes of trading that trade six wins two losses um, 221 a contract okay and then it was um, as you'll see here about 2 I 208 a.m. 3 a.m. Eastern which I know many of you don't want to be up then but there as I said there's tons of trading before then uh, it was really getting too fast we we're well get really getting into the London session so let's go to the charts and review the setups and let me just talk to you about how to trade a fast market now first of all the things that we need to uh, be watching on our charts is where are, where are our pivots the open high low and close levels our 89 and 200 EMAs are critical our intraday swings and the current days high and low now virtually every good trading platform you can plot all of these automatically so once you have these clearly explained to you this is not rocket science okay it's really quite straightforward but it's things that we need to be reviewing on a regular basis on our charts now what I'd like to do here is just quickly point out a few things here and uh, the black dots by the way I call it the one two one uh, it's really a trend following strategy okay but then you can see the white paint bars are my super scalpers now the safest thing for any trader until you're consistently profitable is to be trading with the trend and here the gold line I want you to remember the term follow the gold okay now remember before I said we're after that eight steps to ten steps each step on a on a three one tink, uh, tinko <laughs> renko is worth five dollars so I call these steps the step value will vary depending on the time frame you trade now of course you can go on and use a tick chart you can use time based charts you can use any form of chart but this works look renko uh, or high can ask you over hard charts which is a combination of both that I teach members how to do how to use work an absolute treat for smoothing out price action they really do so up here we had um, that would have been what we call a 3b just there now we're starting to reverse uh, now we've made a higher high we've got a higher low so this confirms really this is a if you wanted to that's a high risk one and by the way that white line that's yesterday's close and you can see a pivot there so what you've got to do is develop the habit of doing this now down here I've got a cam pivot um, up here I've got a cam pivot I've got a traditional pivot yesterday's high yesterday's close why 
these all become price magnets professional traders such as myself we trade into these levels now what we're effectively after traders is between four and six trades of eight steps one two three four five six seven eight okay that's what you're after and your break-even tradition is going to be well for mine it's it's around six ticks or six steps now where that will vary in a really fast moving market I'll go for a larger target and have a larger um, uh, yeah larger target and larger break-even where's my stop go one tick below I can either uh, enter using my my super scalp here which means I'm not going to be into the third candle or I can enter using my one two one see those black dots they don't replot and they will plot where it actually sets up so they'll actually plot right on that candle and quite often before it even closes so up we go now this is one of the most important things of trading note the angulation angulation is where you see price action angling very strongly away from your major EMAs that is telling me I've either got a t3 reversal which is a reversion to the mean or a snapback reversal very high probability or um, uh, I'm heading towards a reversal so whenever you start to see the EMAs fan out very strongly like this I want you to be on alert so up we go and we end up being up one more tick and by the way if you had have taken that t3 you would have been stopped by one tick okay now we end up with a uh, really nice reversal confirmed by t7 which is a double top 2d and what do I mean by a 2d let me show you a 2d traders is where you have a double divergence so what I've got just here I've got a custom made uh, divergence indicator called a platinum or a zero lag MACD so I've got divergence from there to there and over there ignore the MACD BB in fact let me just turn that off but if traders do know what the MACD BB is it can be just really good on your higher time frames just for um, um, confirming trends etc but look at my MACD that's a beautiful setup just there and then down we come okay now I would have been out with um, uh, eight, an 8 to 10 tick move now can you trail absolutely now what I want you to notice here traders uh, I wasn't in here yet by the way this is at 1 a.m. now I want you to remember these two times uh, 1 a.m. and 2 a.m. you've got the Frankfurt open at 1 then you've got the London open okay so well Frankfurt really starts to fire up at 1 a.m. Central Standard Time so that's where they'll really move so down we come just there we then get a bit of a bounce this is for members watching yes it's a t12 and a, uh, a t3 no I wasn't on it uh, I'm going to be on the trades very very soon uh, and where are we just trying to think here a bit further along I think oh this is another beautiful 3b now what is important I'm giving you these codes traders these are very mechanical in their entry but where the personal discretion comes in is do I have a trend okay so this one here a big deep pullback uh, a, a retracement here back to the major EMAs and away go now look at yesterday's high uh, close what happens there oh uh, we go straight through it now you'll find remember before I said watch you want to know where yesterday's high yesterday's close are where the 89 and 200 EMAs why we bounce off them all the time so down we come now what's down below me okay so we're heading towards a potential setup look at this angulation setting up now what you don't see here with this trade is I don't have open my anchor chart two. I trade with three charts I have an entry chart which is what I've got here and I usually have that full screen on the right there I've got an anchor chart one and I have that on my, one of my other screens along with the anchor chart two. what I'm looking at doing is is really surfing the waves in the direction of the tide 
the tide are my two higher time frames I'm looking for pullbacks on a small on on a big time frame and a trend continuation now what you can't see here I had a major EMA bounce on my anchor chart too what does that generally mean a big move okay it's mechanical and a big move but let me tell you this I'm in this trade here where's my stop go one tick below remember I'm on the three one I've only got a 12 tick stop which is $60 so remember we don't risk any more than 2% um, of our account and up we go now at this stage my stop is still down here now normally I would have been out here I would have had another entry and I would have been out up here and uh, the, I was telling members about this is that look I usually do not hang on to a trade this long uh, and I've got a comment here um, look I would have had almost the same outcome in fact there was a loss just there if we had stayed with it there would have been a loss but there are a number of winning trades on the way up as well there would have been one loss three wins now I prefer to get in and get out but occasionally I'll push it and go for a larger target why because on the highest time frame I had just one of those perfect bounces that or it nearly always leads to a large move and up there I then got out at yesterday's close but it's not what I'd normally do okay then because normally what I'm after I'm after to get in get out get paid now I then I didn't jump here but I jumped in up this is called a t10 a very mechanical setup I jumped in on this uh, t10 I had multiple EMA bounces I'm in a downtrend thank you very much and I was out okay so I got out my my six was it eight to ten steps here and so I'd wrap that up now down I came and then I had on my highest time frame again another great bounce okay we call those t12 so I then jumped in and I got stopped out very very quickly I then jumped back in and the reason I took this trade again I had what we call a double divergence it's hard for you to tell there but I had divergence and once again I was bouncing off my anchor chart too uh, oh here's the entry sorry there's the entry right there this is where I entered ah let me take that all that back I entered this got stopped out here sorry everyone so I entered the trade here stop was one tick below coming down got stopped out and then I jumped in here we go so I had great divergence just there took a bit of heat come down within a couple of ticks of stopping me out again so uh, but once you get to understand t12 you'd understand why I jumped in again and I got out here right at the 200 why because we bounce off the 200 all the time traders okay it's just a very very uh, high probability uh, uh, bounce happens every day all right so uh, we then had another setup now with this setup just here I took this trade I jumped in based upon being what I call a 21 B okay and I actually should have waited now when I entered this trade I kept my sick uh, uh, my what was it 16 tick stop no, 12 tick sorry everyone I'm getting mixed up between if you're on by the way if you're on the, the four tick you've got a standard 16 tick stop on the three one I've only got 12 so my stop was still down here but it came back down and for members watching this I then had a beautiful uh, 34b straight after I re and by the time I entered this one here see the hook so I had a slingshot right there so I entered on the slingshot by the time I got filled on this one that candle reversed then I had this 34b so I had a slingshot 21b with a 12 tick stop uh, I was just really by the grace of um, God I should I can I even say that uh, I was saved on that particular trade but then it turned into a 34b I then got out up here now I then had a t12 on my anchor chart one 
see that black line near traders that pretty much closely re resembles the uh, the purple line there which is a 200 EMA which is a t12 on a higher time frame we have these every day okay and down we go uh, 